Me, uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Ah, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, das, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh, 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 Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually... Okay, just quickly. That's the Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some unarmed. Well, King Gallo. I just want to talk. Now, boy, Callaway. Sure. Here's your message. That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Callaway? Used to be is correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee-deep in hog crap. 
Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shoveled this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. Uh, I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Calloway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All out. No. No. No! You didn't know! Oh, you just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. No problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me. Get away from me, Mr. Midnight. Uh. I knew you'd come, but you ain't getting me. You ain't. I knew you'd come for me. It wasn't my fault. I knew. You don't know nothing, Mr. Midnight. I want to talk. Don't do something foolish. You come for me! Come on! Will you, will you there? Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me... Woo! <laughs> is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was... Too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. 
I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? Okay, I got it. Then I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what... It's because... I want to buy some medicine. And I heard... Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay. In gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know, it ain't my business. Come on, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, 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 you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. Don't jump! Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. Oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it! Any of it! I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you... But nothing! Shut up! And, uh... Good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Yes, I'm like that, What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. 
What theory? What's your problem? I am the leading said, amateur paleontologist in the nation, bison? and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of... The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. Then we'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we. <laughs> Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Uh, do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <clears throat> First, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little uh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed uh, his mom on the back. Uh... Oh, fuck it, he... Uh... No! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man down! Do something, you'll eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Uh, 
Sherry! My time! <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertrand. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. Would you just make a little racket, and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Damn it! Ah! Oh! Oh, that butt boys! Oh, no. No, no, no! Oh, that butt boys! Oh, 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 no, I can't get... Oh, no, 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 put me down! I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, mm. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two? <laughs> <laughs>